Hey folks, what's up? Thanks for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. Coming up after the break, I got a really cool show in store for you. Recently, I reconnected with my old friend Jim Emanuel from the Talon back in Bahia <laughs> Marina 20 some years ago. And he made the mistake of showing me some pictures of some really nice pickerel and some jumbo crappies. Freshwater fishing on the shore is pretty good. And after the break, he's gonna see what he can do for me. We'll be right back in just a second. Thanks for watching Hooked on OC. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of main brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so we're here setting up with Captain Jim and we are gonna be fishing this pond for crappies. Anything else in here? Bass, pickerel. Bass, pickerel, that sort of thing. He said, get the lightest weight thing you can find. So I went into Ryan's room and I grabbed this old setup he got when he was about five or six years old as a gift. And this is gonna be perfect for what we're doing. It's about four and a half feet long, got eight pound test on it. Little reel here, it's a 2500 series. Perfect for this kind of fishing, small, panfish, bluegills, crappy. We use it around the neighborhood to catch small bass in our pond and ocean ponds. Tuckahoe would be another great place up in the Delaware portions where you guys are watching. It would be a great spot for crappy and pickerel and bass and that sort of thing. And he's going to get us rigged up. He's the pro. He's got a couple of tricks for how we're doing this. And I got this nothing. I got to tag in. So he's going to take care of the rest. Jimmy, okay. what's up for this okay. pond? Okay, what how we're going to do it? is we're going to rig up with jerk baits for pickerel and bass. Okay. And we're also going to rig up a Senko rod for bass and pickerel. Okay. I hear about and those at the Harrisburg <clears throat> show. That's like a stick bait, right? Here that's it is a, right here. No, the Senko I meant. Oh, the Senko. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, like it's a, a rubber, rubber, worm rubber worm type. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what I do is I just put a clip on or snap, not a snap swivel. Oh, okay. Okay, so. That's almost like a sinker snap. We can change baits if we have gotcha, to. Gotcha, okay. okay. Without having to tie knots. Without the tying the knots. Smart call. Okay. Smart call. Now, the line we're using is a fluoro carbon coated poly line. The line you're using might be that. This is like. The, no, this is, this is, <laughs> you mean this this is the, for the, the jerk baits. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. On the, That's on, what I'm rigging right we're now. We're not using a jerk bait on my rod. This is just for crappies. That's for crappies. Got it, okay. This rod you're going to use for the bass. And pickerel okay. and locate and crap. Let's show that thing. So what what Jim's told us, and one of the things we're surprised by is the fact that these jerk baits are gonna are gonna attract crappy too. And you see what that is. And jerk bait, it sounds just like it, it, it's gonna act. You jerk it through the water, and then you let it sit. It's a suspending jerk bait, so it's gonna stay right where you leave it, right? Yes. So when we throw it and we reel it down to a certain point, it's gonna stay suspended in the water column right there. And from what he's saying, I'm gonna have to listen to him and take his advice. You might leave it there for 15, 20 seconds 
and then go to move it again and boom, there's a fish already on it. You didn't even notice it. So this is something I'm looking forward to using. This is what we're going to be kind of scouting the pond for to catch bass and pickerel. And then when a crappie jumps on, sounds like we stop and do some bobber fishing to catch those, right? Let me have this rod, yes. All right, so this one's set. I'll thread it up. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to put a shot of fluorocarbon on for this, the, the Cinco rod. Okay, so grin and bear it with me for a moment. Yep. Take your time, man. We want to get this set up right. And here you can see Jim's setup here is a little bit, a little bit bigger than mine, but this one's going to probably be catching the bass and the crappie, which, or excuse me, the pickerel, which might be a little bit bigger, and put a little bit more bend on the rod, a little bit more strain on the reel. Mine is just going to be strictly for crappie fishing when we find those fish. And what and I the do, difference between these is, like you said, this is going to be a, a jerk bait, and he's setting another one up here up with a senko. And what I do here <clears throat> is the double uni knot to put this fluorocarbon on. Yeah, nice. It's funny how things happen, folks. I was at the Ocean City Boat Show recently. And Captain Jim came walking by and recognized him, gave a big hug from back in the day. Jim and I were together back at Bahia Marina, of all places. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Crawl says hello, by the way. That's and he came great. by the Ocean City Boat Show just to kind of you know, shoot the bull, say hi, talk about what's fishing, what's new in your life, that sort of thing. And he made the mistake of showing me a picture of some gigantic cracker that he caught here in Wacomico County. And I said, you got to get me in on that. <laughs> and literally the next day, he calls me to set up this trip, and I was all over it. So Dave and I were able to work it out. And we're really, really looking forward to this. You're going to see down here, this water is crystal clear because, like he said, it's spring-fed. You're not going to find that a lot of places. But like you see with Captain Brian's show on the uh, Pocomoke River, fishing can be outstanding this time of the year. So I'm really looking forward to it. If I could get my fingers to work. It's a little chilly this morning. It's one of the yeah. colder days we've had recently. But not too cold. Catch these nah. fish all year, right? Yes. Yeah. I catch bass every month of the year. Awesome. That was one of the things that uh, I set a goal at after I stopped fishing the salt water. Yep. And uh, it was to catch bass every month of the year. Ha! So Probably getting it done. I have. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Check out the savings with Racetrack Auto and Marine. We're your one-stop marine center on Route 589. Racetrack Marine is an authorized Yamaha, Century, and Montego Bay dealer. We broker and buy used boats and offer trailer sales and repair. Take advantage of our winterization stow and go packages and receive a $50 discount. Don't wait to buy your boat. Come see us now for boat show pricing. Racetrack Auto and Marine. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should wear the brightest diamond in the room. But how do you choose when some diamonds differ in price by up to 70%? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the top 10% of the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and let us show you how from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide you with more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. And now back for more Hooked on OC. What we're going to do is rig this up for crappie. Okay. And this is a deep pond, so I use a slip bobber on it. Yeah, I saw these for the first time fishing with Brian on the uh, on the Pocomoke River. These are yeah. slick. Yeah. These are really slick, so you can set the bobber to whatever depth you want. Yeah, so you can cast. 20 feet even if you want yes. to. Yes. And then and it you will can slide still cast. to that position. 
and then when you fight the fish, you reel it right up to the, the eye of the swivel like you would normally. Yes, yeah, good deal. Those red and white bobbers that you use so much, you know, we use in the pond mm -hmm. where I live, they stay one place. That's it. Right. You set it to a position and that's where it stays. But these are really cool because yeah, you can adjust yeah. it real easily up and down the line. Yeah, and a lot of times, you know, crappies look up. So you really don't know what depth they're going to be. Got it. Got to be at. So you can adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. And like I said, what's nice is you can cast. You know, yeah. even if you set this at 14 feet, you yeah. can bring that bobber right up to the tip. And you can reel it a foot away, right? Yeah. When, I'm, when I've got those red and white bobbers on there and I'm four feet deep because that's where I want to be, I can cast, I got to cast it with four feet of line out. There's no yeah. two ways about it. This one you can reel right close to the rod tip and, and then just, it'll slide right up there. Using balsa. Are those those nice wooden uh, balsa floats? Yeah. Oh, they got a little right. weight on yeah, them. Yeah, those are great. Sit like that. Okay. Where's the box? Miss, this makes, reminds me when I was like 12, 13, 14 yeah. years old. Captain Luke Bloom and I are still best friends, man. <laughs> he fishes on the Sea Boys nowadays. But we used to take little boats like this and fish Allen's Pond back in Bowie and places around oh, yeah. town. That's cool. And it was a blast, yeah. man. That's where we started doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. So this is really exciting for me. It's fun. You know, this, this is an untapped area i think you know not too many people really hit these ponds yeah and, and there's most all of kinds them, of public land around here yeah and, mo fish. and most of them that do fish from the banks yep that's exactly so right when I first, spillways and things yeah yeah when i came down here in 2010 i started fishing from the banks and you know eventually got a couple of pond boats and, yep you know like i said the goal i had was to uh catch bass every month of the year. Have you done it yet? Oh yeah. Oh, over t time. Every, over, right? every, yeah, yeah gotcha. every year. That's cool. Uh, <clears throat> January and February are the toughest months. Right. Which is okay. where we are, but right. we're going to make it happen. You sent me a picture <coughs> just the other day of you caught a nice real, look, I'll show, you, show these guys because the modern technology, keep on time. Okay. Not. Jim sent me a, te a text message just the other day talking about how the fishing was and what we might be able to look forward to. And there it is. Look at that. There's a nice February largemouth, right? Don't be scheming on my number, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's only okay. everywhere right now. All right, let's see. What do we want to put on this? I don't care, you're the pro. You want a tube? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do a tube, because- We're gonna put a tube yep. on there. He I like, like pulling tubes. <laughs> 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 I said he was from Philly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is actually looks similar to what how we fish with Captain Brian down on yeah. the Pokemon. That's where I've got the most experience. Oh, I'm from. sure he's except for the bobber. The bobber we use. Seeing uh, him in action on the show, he looks like he's an excellent angler. He's very good. Yeah, and yeah. he's got that stuff dialed in. Yeah, he's got you, that you can see in. that. You can tell when you see somebody fish. Yeah, if, if they're good or they're not. That's you right. know. Yep. Thirteen years of doing this, people still haven't figured me out. But <laughs> God, you know what? I'm gonna be 74 this year. Holy smoke! <laughs> High five on that one, dude. <laughs> Still sucking wind. Wow. Yeah. But what I do? I put a little extra weight on this. Okay. okay. Here's the basic. Here's the basic setup. And this is like just like Jim was saying. This this thing will slide up to where we want it to stop. Yeah, Boom. we gotta still adjust that. We gotta right. take that. We still gotta put the out. stopper on there and take yeah. the tube off. But this is this is how it, does, it works. It slides right up and down yeah. the line, so we can cast it from this far. And once it gets out there, that that bobber will slide all the way up to where we have the stop. What's that? Even if it's 10, 15, 20 feet deep. Oh jeez. Thank you. Okay. All right, there we go. Jim's got us all set up. There's our slip knot that's on the line, so we can move that, adjust it to wherever we want. The bobber then will slide to that. The little bead hits it and stops, and that will be our depth while we're fishing out in the water. And then, we, like I said, we can reel it all the way down like that. That knot will slide in through the eyes. I can reel it right up to the end of the bobber and cast it out. I think we're ready to go, man. Almost. Let's get this yes, thing sir. wet and try it out. Okay, no. Here we go. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. This summer, why not bring your staff, your office, your team, or your organization for an unforgettable day of fun at Jolly Roger Amusement Park. 
35 acres of some of the best rides, attractions, and amusements right here in Ocean City, Maryland. Splash Mountain Water Park, Miniature Golf, Amusement Rides, and the East Coast's largest go-kart track, Speed World. So for a great day of fun, call Dean Langrell at Jolly Roger Group Sales and let him put together a package to fit your needs and your budget. Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. Fun, family of four, fun. We're the funs, not the boorings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com and don't miss free events like Sunset Park Party Nights. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an Optical Galleria? Did you know at Optical Galleria, glasses are made in an hour on site? Did you know an Optical Galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An Optical Galleria can help you see. Make an Optical Galleria your destination for eyewear. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an Optical Galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, artificial lures and leads, apparel and eyewear from industry leaders like Connolly Fishing, Versatech, Baitmasters, Costa, Pelagic, Hook, Sperry, Mojo, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Cast off. <laughs> okay, I'll just see you in a minute. We'll be in, in a sec. All right, man. Hey, when you're traveling light like this, all you gotta do is throw the boat in the back of the truck. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yep. Couple of lines to keep it from falling out. Let me stick this And you're up bouncing here. up and down Route 13. Okay. And a jerk bait rod. That's all you get, folks. Okay. Okay, okay just right there. Yep. I'm easing you in so you don't get any water in that back end. You're good. Let me put my jacket on the seat so I don't step on it. Yeah. I'm already in the bushes. I feel like I'm with Brian Behe again. Man, this is pretty awesome so far. You don't mind if I cast already, do you? Uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just get your jerk freight ready. This one? Okay. All set. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how you... Huh. What's my tip ability I don't have like? my rods. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Guess I'm fishing and you're not. Yeah. He did say senility. Oh boy. But I did this as a favor for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Here he starts already. <laughs> okay. Tim, I'm gonna grab your rod. Thanks, pal. Just hold on a second. I know I'm gonna grab his rod. That ship has sailed. <laughs> you sure these aren't gonna put us overweight? <laughs> Alright, anything else you need out no, of there? That's it. Alright. You got your uh, actually, actually, if you could get in the Venus sent for, said for me. Yeah. All right, we're good, right? Sure we All are. All set? Sure we are. I can't good. believe the clarity of this water. Yeah. This is insane how clear this is. All right. Yeah. There we there go. There we go. He told me throw. He tells me throw to the bank. He throws to the middle of the pond and catches one. Pickle, Mr. Pickerel. Nah. Just a little. Put your thumb in his mouth. Why? Just kidding. <laughs> Here, good TV, Jim. Nice work. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Just try not. I'll try. I got pop Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. For a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning is your number one source for all your heating and air conditioning needs. Family owned and operated since 1982, we service the Maryland and Delaware beaches and surrounding areas, providing new installation, repair, and maintenance of equipment, as well as healthy air, with indoor air quality products and building science solutions, giving your home the healthy environment you and your family deserve. Contact us and our team of highly trained professionals will provide the quality and care that makes Arctic the best company for you. Welcome to the Ocean Pines Yacht Club. Open to the public in your summer destination. There's a restaurant, swimming pool, live music, and daily happy hours. Visit us. Log on to opyachtclub.com. North Bay Marina has your new boat in stock and ready for delivery. Pontoon boats with industry-leading 27-inch diameter pontoons that are engineered for comfort and versatility. They're perfect for family fishing, wakeboarding, or sunset cruising. North Bay also has a huge selection of fishing boats to get you to your favorite fishing spot in style. And the North Bay Service Department can handle any repair, including on-site fiberglass. Get on board for fun at North Bay Marina, Route 54, just west of Fenwick Island. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. See those little bait fish? Where? Right there, they're heading back that way now. Oh, I didn't see them. I think it's a bass. I'm not sure. Bassy or pickerel? That's another pickerel. Pickerel. Let me see that bad boy when you get him up here. Sure. I'll have to take him off for you. Okay. Here. Yeah. Hold on a don't, second. Don't get him wrapped up. I think wrapping things up. Imagine you tuna trolling back yeah. in the day. Yeah. One of the things that's different th from these fish from the ones we see in the Pocomoke River with, with Brian is the, the color of them. Different. They're yeah. darker in the uh, Pokemon. Pokemon right? River, they're much, much darker, darker fish. Look at the color of that fish. He's like a really silver. light green on the bottom, silver almost green. silver. And then on the top is where he gets darker green. Still got the same teeth as those pickerel in the Pokemon River. A little bit bigger than this, they're good to eat, but they're such a bony fish, most people don't mess with them. But they are the, in this Excellent. pond, this is the apex predator in this pond, buddy. Yeah. Along with the largemouth bass, which so far Ooh, have eluded, eluded us. us. Jinx, buy me a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the bass in here seem to turn one like you threw a switch. Hmm. And, and all of a sudden, boom, yeah, they'll start. Yeah, you'll start catching them. And that's the same way with the crappies, really. We usually save the crappies to last. Yeah, that's when we fish me. this. But <clears throat> look at that. Isn't that cool looking down? Yeah, it's insane how clear this is. I mean, we're at 12 feet of water, and this is crystal clear. Yeah. You can see the bottom all the way down there. Yeah. Bass fish. Oh, that's a pickerel. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a bass. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Get in frontage. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> this isn't the talon, but. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the old yeah, talon. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm sure you do. That was a fun boat. Yeah. There he is. Look at the lines on this one's eyes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They got that stripe going yeah, down. Yeah, he's got this, this stripe this going down his eye. Let me see if I can hold his, my hand far enough back where you can see that. Look at that stripe running down from his eye down to his chin. That's pretty cool. That makes him look even meaner than he already looks. 
fun wintertime fishing, man. Get out here and do it. Let's catch another one. We're going crappy fishing soon. Same spot. Hey, Ray, Ray, wave to the camera while you're on there, man. Tell them who you are. First mate's over there running the old chase boat for us. We call it a chase boat in our business. Ray, big thanks, man. You're helping us out. This is a different angle. We've never done this before where we've had somebody in a different boat doing this. It makes it kind of a cool experience, so thanks a lot. I'll tell you what. You know, I laugh when I've watched your show, and I just say, you're so perfect for it. You know, you really are. It's crazy. <laughs> this water's so clear, I saw him hit it right in front of the boat. <laughs> he was five feet down. You said, there he is, and I turned, and there he was eating it. Oh, it was right there in front of us. There he is. Chain pickerel. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Welcome to the Ocean Pines Yacht Club. Open to the public in your summer destination. There's a restaurant, swimming pool, live music, and daily happy hours. Visit us. Log on to opyachtclub.com. Hi, this is Colleen Windrow at the Windrow Group, Keller Williams Realty. For over 20 years, the Windrow Group and its top producing real estate agents have been helping buyers and sellers from Lewis, Delaware to Ocean City, Maryland. Let our experience in real estate hotspots, local fishing holes, and restaurants work for you. Now is the time to invest in the beach lifestyle. Find us on Facebook or at thewindrowgroup.com. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to go, routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. I'm a pickerel slayer. <laughs> Man, this is fun, buddy. Yeah. This is fun. Calm down, shorty. Calm down. You were Way right, to man. You, you said chain pickerel and bass on the Senkos and the uh, yeah. and the uh, jerk baits. Yeah, we didn't get nothing on jerk baits. What's bait going yet. on? We usually will. That's a pretty fish. Yeah, they are pretty fish. Can you see that in that light? Look at that bad boy. That's beautiful. Watch out for the business end, though. Even <laughs> a fish this small, yeah. you're gonna be bleeding if you mess with the front of his mouth without pliers. Yep. One of Maryland's apex. Apex Marine predator. predators. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is that time for us to go? No. Nah. <laughs> Here's the secret ingredient. <laughs> Jimmy says next time you pull that up, spray it with a little bit of that. Mm. The Bang Pure Crawl. And we're using red worms because in the winter time there's a lot of crawfish running around these freshwater ponds. He said he caught a bass recently. It was full of crawfish and freshwater There's shrimp. Oh, Ooh, just crappy. missed one. Crap. I, 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 I believe him because I saw it. That's how clear this water is. I knew that was a crap. We're spraying a little bang pure <laughs> crawl in there, and that oh, gets them going a little bit see, more. Now, and, now we know where to fish for the crappies, okay? And if you want to keep the ladies off of you, you throw <laughs> a little under your armpits. 
and head on out. The kind of women's eye like like that smell. I know that's why it's in the boat. I know it's not your fishing technique. It's all from your. It's probably from your medicine cabinet in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's got. He's got pure crawl, low tide for those special evenings. Low tide's another scent he's got out there. There he is. He got it. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. He just watches. He's like, here, here's a pickle. Here's a pickle. He's got it. <laughs> man, they're starting to bite close to the boat now, man. Yeah. Jim Pickerel Slayer Emmanuel at your service. <laughs> oh gosh. Fishing out of the Talon 2. <laughs> now, this is Talon 3 or 4. Talon I don't know 3, which. 4, 5, 6. <laughs> that cool to make out of Talon 2. <laughs> you rat. <laughs> Did you have one? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was definitely a bite. <laughs> oh, well. You got to fish these so slow. You yeah, kinda just, you got to fish them slow. You're kind of just twitching it through the grass yeah. right along the bottom. Yeah. But that was definite, like, boom. <laughs> that was a definite bump. I don't know why they're not here on this slope. There's a bluegill. There's a bluegill. I see him swimming over there. Yeah. Yep, yeah. right below us. Yeah. Pretty sizable bluegill. Oh. Listen, I gotta show you something later when we get out. Okay. That was probably pretty cool. Uh-huh. And I gotta take a whiz. Okay. Well, that's not quite the footage we were looking for. <laughs> but all right, Jimmy, what do you say we go to these crappy fishing? That sounds good. Let's try it out. Got an anchor up, right? Yeah, we're gonna throw the anchor. All right, let's get on them. Okay. Since I'm snagged. All right, here we go. Look at this. Like this. Crappy oh. time. Look at this. Look at this. You know they heard that bait up right against here. Absolutely. You know. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. U.S. veteran-owned East Coast Marine Electronics serves all of Delmarva and is your full-service marine electronics dealer, offering sales, service, and installation. Whether it's a fish finder for a 20-foot center console or a full electronics package for a 70-foot sport fish, East Coast Marine Electronics has the products to fit any budget and the knowledge and experience to get the job done right. Call Chad at 443-880-7206 or visit him online at eastcoastmarineelectronics.com. Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. Fun, family of four, fun. We're the funs, not the boorings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the Fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com and don't miss free events like movies on the beach. In the early days of the boardwalk in Ocean City, Mr. J.T. Thrasher introduced a unique concept, one in which a food concession stand would specialize in only one product. Yes, in 1929, Mr. Thrasher had one goal, to produce the best tasting french fry ever. Today, five generations and 84 years later, tradition still reigns supreme. The emphasis is on quality and nowhere will a better french fry be found. Now Thrasher's, the best french fries on the planet, can be found on 2nd Street in the boardwalk and 8th Street in the boardwalk, as well as our original location at the pier. Do you love fishing? Then Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel go-to locale. Our newly expanded fishing section features Salt Life, Hook, Pelagic, Guy Harvey, Under Armour, Salty Crew, Mad Ruiz, and Patagonia. Of course, the largest selection of white marlin open tees anywhere. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel hotspot. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We've meet, reached a popular time in the show, man. It's got to be a really great segment here at Atlantic Tackle. The Angler's Advantage is upon us. Brian Tinkler, Good great to see, to see you, Scott. man. Always a pleasure having you. Thanks for having us. Today we are not going to talk about angling stuff. At Atlantic Tackle, we've told you more than one time that this is more than a tackle shop. You guys have really expanded this place into... Tackle shop, boutique, 
uh, you name it, they've got it here. And we're going to talk about some of the stuff today they've got on the east wall of the building down on the first floor. Some really beautiful pieces for home, boat, decor. It's all here, and Michelle's done a great job. Why don't you tell me about yeah, some of the stuff? Yeah, it's a very, very unique a collection of uh, you know nautical and fish-themed gifts and accessories and yep. some home decor. People are always surprised to find it in the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a collection of things here that you, you won't find everywhere else. So it, it makes very special uh, host gifts. You know, if you're yep. going to a party and you, you're looking for a, uh, a unique host gift or something, there's definitely something here. And uh, we have it available at pretty much every price point too. So there's, you know, lots to choose from. And, um, you know, depending on what, what price point you're looking for, there's something here for you. Yeah, if anybody's watching this show, they're either a fisherman or no a fisherman. Right, so right. you don't always have to get somebody a tackle gift. You know, I love tackle gifts. I love rods, reels, you know, terminal tackle, that sort of thing. But this stuff is really cool. If you've got a nice house, you've got a nautical theme to it, they've got so much stuff here. It's kind of, we're not even able to show you everything, but there's some great pieces here. The one in particular that stood out to me is this two brand new tuna you guys got on the wall there. It's only $800, mm -hmm. and this thing is probably eight feet, nine feet yeah, across. Yeah, it's spectacular. Really Complete with a set piece. of bait fish and and uh, a couple other fish on the wall. I think she has one supplemental fish yeah. shown with it, but uh, yeah, it's a real special piece. Uh, something that look awesome in a great room. You know, where you have an expansive wall that right. you're looking to fill up and everything. Right. Unique piece that's uh, really like three dimensional when you're looking at it and right. everything. Uh, super sturdy, well built stuff. And, really beautifully uh, done. Yeah, yep. and there's some smaller pieces as well. We've got the sport fish boat, the guy, the troll that's trolling. Looks yeah, like that's a, that's a smaller piece. Super cool smaller piece. Yeah, yep. yeah, Hallway complete even. with a tower and yeah. fishing line and the fish jumping in the back and everything. Really, like I said, it it captures, you know, the uh, the enthusiasm of the sport and yep. brings it right into your living room. Really does. You guys have got some beautiful pillows here, some custom pillows with custom designs. Yeah, that's that's a great way. You know, if you have a Kind of a, a um, you know, neutral themed condo mm -hmm. or something like that, and you're looking to, to introduce a, a more you know, a coastal theme to it and everything, without recovering the whole couch. Yep. Pick up a couple of these uh, you know nautical themed pillows, sea life themed pillows, and uh, you know it'll make a, a transition quickly and you know really per put your personal touch on it takes uh, a one on color that. couch yep. into a totally different Absolutely. look. Man, it really does. And then we've got some stuff on the table here. We wanted to show the expanse of everything that's here. And, and like you said earlier, uh, Michelle's got budget-friendly stuff here. She told me this is 10 bucks. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. carved marlin, wooden carved marlin. That thing is 10 bucks. And they go all the way into these other custom pieces, these metalwork pieces that are going to be a couple of hundred bucks, but they're custom brass, beautiful pieces of art that you can put on your table. You can put them in the salon on the back. Yeah, it works big, great in an of office. You know, if you, you know, if you're looking to get a... Uh, gift for somebody Great in an idea. office or anyway and you know they're a fishing enthusiast uh, it's, it's something that transitions well into the city as well yeah drinkware vases did i say yep. that right yeah vases. there you go vase, <laughs> vase. yeah these are super cool you've got uh different uh i guess these are they're wine pours. stoppers yeah, right they're but pours. you can pour yeah okay. they're pours yeah. yeah and uh you know there again what a great unique uh, uh nautical themed yeah. gift uh that somebody's not going to see show we just had the, show we just had on a couple of weeks ago is Jeff Coates when I killed my first bant, branded bant. <laughs> branded branded bant. Bant. <laughs> <laughs> We'll laugh about that one again. But that, look at that. It's not yeah. just the fisherman in you. It's the hunter yeah, in you. Yeah, absolutely. It's the fisherman. Uh, it's the outdoorsman. There's lots and lots of different stuff here. And like we said before, budget friendly across the board. Um, stuff from $10 and under to a couple of hundred dollars if you want to put that in something on your wall or in the salon of the really, really nice boat you've got over at Sunset Marina. Even got tool kits like this. This Toadfish kitchen set is really sharp. That's man. an awesome really gift set. Really, yeah. really awesome set. Super well-made stuff. Uh, it, it'll last forever. You got your really oyster nice shucker piece. here, yeah. your shrimp devainer, and then I've seen, I saw on Instagram just last week these Toadfish snips and pliers are really cool for breaking crab claws, yeah, lobster absolutely. claws, and that sort of thing. And that's a great set. They sell these separately, individually here, individually here, and then the whole kit. Really, really great stuff. Man, this is a beautiful spot yeah, over here. Yeah, thank you. Really, yeah. really great spot. It's on the east wall downstairs here. First level at Atlantic Tackle. Come by and see them. Phone number, Brian? 410-213-0421. or AtlanticTackle.com online. We'll see you in just a minute with a little bit more Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back.
Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your ideas can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style and tradition of boat building with a unique look and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Check out Spencer Yachts currently for sale and all other sport fishing yachts available for sale with Spencer Yachts Brokerage at SpencerYachtsInc.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay. Okay. Anchor is engaged. Okay. And what I wanted to do is this. And we are about ready to deploy crappy tactics. Okay. What's the matter with this? Something wrong with it. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the line. Okay. I can't tell. No, it's 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 off. He, he, he did say. I was, had it. I had it on. He did say he was seventy four. Trying guys. to get straightened up here. So do I. Bring it back to the days I when you were a kid, it. don't I? I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Bobber fishing. I feel like I'm 10 years old, back in Allen's Pond or Fox Hill Lake, <laughs> fishing without a license. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't when I was in there. Uh, now see, this ain't right. Mine ain't right. Got my crappy nibble. <laughs> yep. All right, so we have thrown the anchor and we've come to a spot in the pond where Jim knows there to be some crappy activity. And he's already gotten bit. So we're using this sliding uh, float. There's a sinker here to stop it, so I got a little bit of room between that and my jig head. And then we're putting a crappy nibble on the bottom of it. It's just a little spongy type bait that goes on the hook right there at the bottom, on the bottom of the jig. And he's already gotten bit, so we're casting from here. I know. <laughs> over to the bank and then just waiting it out giving a little twitch here and there see what happens I believe you put mine on there and it's still on there so yeah but uh, anyway oh that was nice you touched it last <laughs> <laughs> There it goes. I was getting a bite. <coughs> and I wait for the bobber to go clear down or what? Yeah. Or you'll see them track. They'll start moving. They'll track. Yeah, yeah. yeah you'll okay. start, see them start tracking. It was right out of here. When that's moving, smack is That looked like a bluegill bite to me. Bluegill? Yeah, it did. That wasn't a crappy bite. They don't usually bite it like that. Okay, whatever you whatever it takes to humiliate me. Well, I, I just thought it did. You know, it's a that little. 
where the crappies, you know, they track off with as clean it. as this water is. I think it was a four pound crappie. Uh, maybe. I saw it. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, mm -hmm. That looks small enough on that jade to catch a bluegill too, though. Yeah. yeah. Who can knows? Itty bitty fitty in the brook. Come and jump on Scotty's. Get on here, will you? I'm gonna get this more straight than it is. It's close, but. What kind of mono do you use? Um, whatever Shakespeare puts on here 17 uh, years uh, ago. Uh, let me, sp let me, before you go, I'll spool you up with some good line. All right, I'll take care of you, buddy. God, come on, fish. Sacoule. Hmm. That's very French. That's like going sounding. down in Louisiana. The sacoule. Hey, hey. I'm trying to get every closer. Sacoule. All right, let me get that over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like that one. There you go. Come on, man. In fact, I'm going to tell you something. Here, buddy. Why don't you use my rod? Ooh. Okay. I think I will after I after I I'm just cast out. Finish yeah. this cast. That's a good cast. <clears throat> this is an embarrassment. No bass, no crappies. <laughs> Is it? And do you, are you glad you did that already? No, I didn't buy it yet. Oh, you didn't? But you're going to? I'm gonna. going to, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I didn't embarrass you to do it. I, just, I think you should because flip phones, um, flip phones are, are no good now. Not yeah. even paperweights aren't yeah. even, they're not even good for that. Well, I use it just as a phone, you know? Yeah, but you don't use it as just a phone because you tried to show me pictures on it the other day. Oh, okay. And I couldn't even tell it was you. Yeah. And then it rang and it like shocked me <laughs> while I was holding it. <laughs> uh, oh, they use mine. Uh, no, <laughs> bring it in. Is it the knot? Yeah, it's it's not tight enough. <laughs> That's the downfall of this crap. I got a knife. Nah, I'm t trying to tighten oh, it. Oh, tighten the knot. I got you. Okay. Just using it for, I'm I'll just using it for a phone to this. <laughs> you know, you're not. Did you ever see the old cartoons with Sylvester? The Sylvester cat, the cat? Yeah, yeah. And the little, his son. <laughs> when he like runs into the ca kangaroo and he gets his butt handed to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the little, little Sylvester old says, school cartoons. Oh, father. <laughs> What am I going to tell my friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> How's that? That's pretty good. The, the, when I got that bite from the crappie, mm -hmm. it was out here. Yeah. It was It was below this tree, right? Remember? Yeah, we it was right, right about here. Yeah. So, but they, like I said, they run this bank. The secret is to find them when they're biting or wait for them to turn yeah. on. And that's about it, Scotty. I can't do... That's like the man on the grassy knoll right now. Pretty good secret. Why? Just because nobody knows who did that and had oh, it for yeah. years and I think we're in the same boat. Literally, yeah. maybe. Look how clear that is. That is amazing. Isn't it? Unbelievable. I love it. Do you know where the spring is in this pond? Like, where's this? Where? No, I don't. Uh, okay. I got something. I don't know what it is yet. You he said bluegill it. bite before. No, that's not a bluegill. But this is on Jim's rod that's with a little bit a bigger bluegill. jig on it. Be right. Be right. Be right. No, Come it's on, a honey. Be right. It's a pickle. Oh, you stinking pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that was an easy release. Here we are, crappy fishing. I catch another pickerel. 
You're talented. Ah, oh, got another one that fast. Yeah. That's a crappie, I think. It's fighting like a crappie. It's a crappie. It's fighting like a big crappie. Yep. <laughs> you gotta be joking me right now, dude. <laughs> Happy. Dude! <laughs> what in the world is going on? Oh, we get them bigger than that. Son. <laughs> Look at this thing. Jim, I believe you. Not that I didn't believe you before. We're good friends. Holy smoke. That is an Eastern Shore crappy, folks. That's over a pound. Yeah. Yep. That is a 13, 14 inch crappy over a pound. And these things are delicious to eat. Look at this thing, man. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That's impressive. I mean, we can This is bigger than anything we've called on the Pocomoke River. Oh, I know. Pocomoke River is way different, though. Well, that's why I showed you the picture. This is concealed. You know, yeah. these oh, fish yeah, can grow to be yeah. probably yeah. a couple of pounds in here. These can oh, grow yeah. to be a couple of pounds. Yeah. They've got bait in here 24-7 yeah. that they can push into corners and things like that. But, oh, my word, that is what we were after. And thank you so much for putting it on them, putting me on them. <laughs> Listen They're him. saying, whispering to us, this is a baby. Yeah, <laughs> let that little thing go. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow, we. Really... Yeah. Uh, was he close to the bank? Thank you, brother. Let me tell you. Out wow. Of here. Oh, that, was, that was an excellent release. He stayed right up there. Wow. What yeah. a crappy. Holy smoke, that's a big fish. That might be something every day for you guys, yeah. but that was that's gigantic from what I'm used to. Holy smoke. That's what I say, we usually find him on the jerk bait. That was a classic yeah, crappy bite. Jimmy he was you know, Jimmy was right here off of that uh tree. Okay. And that's how you mark them. Right back out there. Yep. Holy you. moly. You a good fisherman. Holy moly. <clears throat> Ooh, right there. Other one. <laughs> That's a crappie. Oh, oh it's a pickerel, pickerel again. I thought, it was a I thought for sure it was a crappie. They're biting just like a crappy one. Yeah, they are. Man, I feel like a little kid. This is awesome. Oh, he took my hook and everything. That's all right. We'll hook you up again. Man, I'd love to have the same little thing you had on there before. I got it. I got you covered. Sir? This is Honey Hole. Look at that, there's a little bass right there. Yeah. See? Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. 
Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Clear the way. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Thank you. Not only an awesome day, but great being back in touch with you. Yes. It's been too long. Yes, it has. Great seeing you at the Ocean City Boat Show over the weekend, and then this came together right. really, really quickly. And I knew I'd have a pretty good time, but this was a really awesome time. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you would have caught more fish. Look, that's a great day for us. So if yeah. it was your worst day, we'll take it. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Folks, get out there, nice man. Nice luck would have it. Freshwater fishing in Wacomico County, Worcester County. Southern Delaware can be outstanding this time of the year. Lots of pickerel around. You see the crappier starting to wake up largemouth bass and, and the like all ready to go and as the water temperature warms up it's going to get even uh, uh, there you go there you go better <laughs> okay <laughs> big thanks to captain jim emmanuel for taking us out today ray appreciate your help man yes, ray, ray was our second boat <clears throat> able to get some cool footage from outside the <clears throat> boat like we don't we normally can't do and big thanks to the folks over there at atlantic tackle go and see them all right make sure you tell them we sent you Stay tuned next time for another edition of Hooked on OC, folks. Probably coming at you from the Morning Star. I don't think I can make it either. I'm going to send my friend Dante Soriente from Magic Tail Bucktails. Put him on a couple of tog, all right? See you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Let's get this thing out of the water and get going. You know, Monty's boat was a friend of mine's boat. Back in the day? May, yeah. That's a whole whole other show. A a guy named Billy Bittner.